Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Charmaine and it's time to do another video. If this is your first time visiting, welcome to my channel. If this is not your first time, welcome back. Today we are going to do a must requested video tutorial. But this tutorial also won the poll in my group. If you don't know about my group by now, it's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. And we're on Facebook. So please go ahead and join. We have so much fun in that group. All I ask you to do, please answer all the questions to be approved into the group. Okay. And this this video won the poll. They want to know, they want to, my members want to know how to sublimate a mug. And when I tell you sublimating a mug is so easy. I think it's the easiest thing you can do with crafting. It's so easy. So let's get started. First, let's go ahead and go to Cricut. I'm going to launch Cricut Design Space. I go right here to Desktop, and then I go right to um, Cricut and Cameo Files. Then I choose which one I want. I know it's in the Afro, even though she don't have an Afro. But I know a lot of my ladies, all of my pretty ladies are in here, so I just labeled it Afro. Let's find who I'm looking for. Let's see. Let's see. Where is she at? Oh, she's pretty. I might use her today. I'm gonna go ahead and put her on a mug. She's pretty. I'll put her on there. I'm gonna do a couple. I'm gonna do a couple of pictures because um, I don't want to waste my sublimation paper. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a, a two. I'm gonna do probably two or three images today. I might not print all three, but I will be. I might not put all three on a mug today, but um, I will have it all on the paper, so it'll be ready for me to do it. She's pretty. I, I'm trying to find something that's with a lot of colors. So I love those colors because I love how sublimation and the colors with sublimation works. And y'all, y'all have to stay tuned because I'm about to do a video on water slide. Water sliding is so, so pretty also. And it's a, let me tell you the difference while I'm looking for my files. Let me tell you the difference between water slide and um, uh, sublimation. Sublimation, you need heat and you need sublimation paper. Okay. Well, water slide, that's all you need is water and um, water slide paper. Okay, guys. So, and it's the the, the uh, colors are brilliant, just like sublimation. Okay, but um, what was I about to say? But um, also with the um watercolor, I mean the water slide, you have to um, what about that? What was I about to say? Water slide. I'm trying to think and do this at the same time. <laughs> I can't do two things at once, y'all. Water slide is oh, you don't have to have. You don't have to buy the expensive sublimating um, image. I mean, you don't have to buy the sublimation coating. Like, you know how when you sublimate, you have to have the 100% polyester. And you have to have the, um when you sublimating, like, uh, mugs and all different things. It's got to be coated. For um, water slide, you don't have to do that. Water slide, you can get a dollar mug, a dollar tree mug, and, and you can put water slide on that. So, water slide is going to be so much fun, guys. I'm going to show you all how to do that, too. So, it's my water decal paper coming, my water slide paper coming. I'm going to um, show you how to do the water slide. It's so pretty. And the colors are vibrant, just like sublimation. It's the hair. And look at her hair. It's all, look at that, look at that. I, want, I love her because it's, the, the colors is going to be so pretty when you sublimate. And it's going to be pretty if I, water, if, I, if I do the water slide on her, too. And then water slide, you can get a clear water slide or you can get a white background water slide. But I, I bought both papers. They're, I mean, both type of papers. They're both coming in. And all you need is inkjet printer with water slide. You don't even need um, a sublimation printer, okay? So, um, yes, water slide is going to be the next thing. So, basically, what you need to do first is measure your mug. And my mug image is going to be three and a half by three and a half. I have e the 11 ounce mug. I'm not going to put any words on these mugs right now because what I can do is I'm going to basically go ahead and put the picture on there. And then if one of my clients want these mugs, then I can just personalize them how they want them on the other side. But you can put them on both sides, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get another one. And it's so quick and easy to do this, guys. I might do all these mugs at the same time today. I might just do it because it's uh, mug sublimation is so easy. So let me go ahead and get another one. And it's so quick. You basically heat them up 400 degrees, and then you do um 60 seconds. And also, please hit the red bell so you can be notified when I upload videos. I've been uploading videos like crazy. I do two to three videos a week, y'all. And like I said, this video right here won the poll, so that's why I'm doing this video. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the height 3.3. 3. 3. 
So, um, yeah, stay tuned. I have so many videos coming up. I, I said I do um offer cricket tutorials and I also have um silhouette tutorials. But this silhouette is giving me the blues, y'all. So I'm still working, trying to figure that out. So you have to give me a minute before I I got a couple videos out. The ones I know <laughs> halfway know what I'm doing. So I'll be bringing some more to y'all as soon as I get comfortable with the silhouette. I have a silhouette cameo three. And the only reason why I bought it, I got it because it was on sale for $7.99. So I, was like, I wanted it anyway, but for that price, I couldn't beat it. So I went ahead and purchased it. I'm just trying to make sure my size is good. Yeah, that should be good. Three. We still able to fit on our page. You know how Cricut, you only get a certain amount of space to do a um, print. So, that, you know, every time you sell a mix, you got to do a print and cut, basically. You got to, we're not cutting vinyl, but you're going to be doing, you printing with our printer, okay? Our sublimating printer. So we got to make sure we have. We don't have much space to deal with Cricut. But, you know, if you go for Silhouette, you can print much bigger in Silhouette. But in Cricut, you only can print um, 6.75 by 9. Okay. So, let's see. Do I want to do another one, guys? Hmm. This is so pretty. Them colors are so pretty, y'all. I'm going to see. I'm gonna, I seen one. I'm, one more. I'm going to do one more. I'm, I'm going to bring her out some more. Yeah, that's cute. Bring her out a little bit more. She's going to be a little bit bigger than her. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, this is... I love her color. Okay. I'm done, y'all. I'm done. So I'm go, now I'm going to go ahead and make it. Let's see how many we get on the page. We only get three on the page, which is good. It's okay. Uh, 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 and then I got two over here. So I was trying to save paper. I ended up using more paper, which is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and mirror these images. Push continue. I'm going to get my... um printer my sublimation printer and plug it up i don't have i don't have it cooked up to my wi-fi because i have so many machines y'all i got two printers and two cutting machines so i was like well my my cricket is on my own wi-fi because that was the first thing i did i i hooked up so my cricket is on my bluetooth but my cameo and my other my two printers are not on my bluetooth y'all there's just too much going on and it's because it was took um every time i Ever since I got this silhouette, it's been giving me the blues. So I tried to look it up with Bluetooth, but it didn't work. So I said, I'm not going to be fooling with silhouette. They be doing too much. So um, I went ahead. I know y'all, if y'all seen my last video, I told y'all that when I was doing a printing cut and my ink went out, I was going to end up buying me another printer or either get more ink. So I had and got this 7720 Epson printer. Now I have both of them. I had the 7710 for my sublimation. Then I have the 7720 for my regular ink. And right now I have the regular ink. I just found out that there is pigment ink that you could put in your regular printer. And I know for sure you could put it in your um, 7710 or 7720 Epson printer. Now, pigment ink is not sublimation ink. Okay, I do have a sublimation printer, which is my 7710. But I'm going to go ahead and convert my 7720 into pigment ink, which is going to be regular printing. And they're not the same as sublimation, okay? It's just basically a better color so basically i can do my my bag my chip bags my um water slide decals all my regular print all my paper product all my paper prints that i'm going to be using for with regular ink jet printer i can use that pigment ink okay i just found that out today and i found that out by um Cos cosmo ink has it go to cosmoink.com he has some he's black on and also cobra ink has it also. So I'm gonna check those two out and I'm gonna end up purchasing that um that pigment ink. So my my chip bags, my you know my stickers, my um cupcake toppers, you can use all those. You can do all those projects in your water slides. You can do all those projects with the pigment ink. Okay guys. So that was that's good to know. So I'm gonna take my bleed off. I don't want my bleed on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and print. I'm gonna print them out and I'll be back. Okay I have all the images printed out and now what you need to do is cut around the black line so the black line will now show um i'm going to cut it out then i'm gonna come back and show you how i put it on my mug okay i got the images all cut out and my um, mug press was ready but i'm gonna cut it off so i'm gonna do all that beeping here's the first image here's the second one okay I'm gonna just show you how I prep it. Like I said, my heat, my um, mug press is broken, so I'm gonna have to hold it closed. I'm just show you. I'm being ghetto today. Basically, I'm gonna let y'all know the screw is right here. The screw is too short. 
and it's not staying inside the hole. So what I'm going to do is just hold it closed like this. Hopefully it'll work. This is my first time. No, it's not my first time doing it. So it did work before, so I know it's going to work. But I'm not going to show you how I do it. I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to sit here and hold it because it's ghetto. But my, um, I'm thinking about using a convention oven. You can use a convention oven and you can also use a, um, air fryer. Okay. I'm just, um, or I might just get another, um, mug press. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet because with the convention oven and the, um, air fryer you have to get a silicone mug wrap you have to make sure you have the right size and you have to get a thermometer so it just seems like it's just too much to do all that and then you got to have the space i don't have that much space my craft room is already full with all kind of other gadgets so this is a nice size um small you know it's really small i like the way it fits right there but the air fryer is not too big either but you still have to get the mug wrap and all that kind of stuff but um you get a mug wrap so you have to get like 11 ounces to make sure it fit 11 ounces this cup is 11 ounces i got it from um condi c-o-n-d-e dot com uh, like i said i got 36 in the box for 50 something dollars um and like i said you cut your picture three and a half well no bigger than three and a half by three and a half this is like almost three by 3.3 something like that and just make sure you cut it close as you can matter of fact i'm gonna cut it a little bit more down right here so it can right here, so it can stay on the um cup. So you make sure you have your um tape, the heat transfer tape. Got this from Amazon. I got this from Amazon too. The heat press from Amazon, the mug press from Amazon. Mm -hmm. But I would not refer that to you because it's, it broke within. I only use it for like ten or fifteen times, not even that much, and it broke already. Here's my heat, my heat um tape, and I also got the um the heat the thing right here, the holder, the tape holder. Got it from Amazon also. It's a big row. The rows come big like that. So what I need to do is basically I try to put this where I want it. So I usually just set it down like this. And I close, I mean, I put it like close to the handle, but not too close to the handle. It's up to you, your preference of how you, where you want it. But I make sure I don't put the um, image too close to the lips. So I bring it down as much as I can. And I could have made this bigger, but I didn't. So this, this is a good size because I didn't want to overlap, you know, to be too big. You can make it as big as you want, but this right here is a 3.3 .3 by um something like something like that. I showed y'all the measurements already. So take the tape on there. I'm sorry. <laughs> the tape on there, real tight. Then make sure you hold that part down right there. Then you grab this tight over here to make sure it's going to be tight when you sublimate it. So you're doing another piece of tape right there. But yeah, let me tell you this. This um video was, was not about to happen. My um printer, I just yeah, I just told y'all I brought a new printer. I brought the um Epson 7720. And I um, already had the 7710. So my 7710 was my sublimation printer. I hooked up the 7720, everything working right. And now today was my first time using my 7710. I don't know if I said that right. I hooked up the 7720, which when I did, which I just bought that, and now I was going to use my 7710 to print these images out, right? Why it didn't work? I was like, oh my god! I've been hearing so many things about firewalls and updating and all that kind of crap. I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I messed up something? Because basically, my I was having problems with my AirDrop um, on my Mac, so I took it to Best Buy and they updated my computer, not thinking that that probably would have messed me up. So I um so I got that updated the other day. And now I'm trying to use this printer. I'm like, oh my God, they must have messed up. They must have messed me up. So, um, but it worked. I was on the, um, only because of the grace of God and this lady helped me. She, um, I was on Facebook and I was telling her how I was all messed up. And she stayed on the phone. She stayed on Facebook Messenger with me over an hour to make sure I got everything right. She gave me the steps. So I'm not no computer geek. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the computer at all. I know a little bit, but not when it comes to... to firewall and all that kind of crap so she helped me out so much and she got it she got me going i'm gonna put her name i'm gonna put her name at the bottom of this um right here in the video right here she helped me out thank you so much because if it wasn't for you this video would not be this tutorial would not be happening right now so thank you so much for standing on the on the line on facebook messenger with me and just showing me how to get that printer to work had to reset it basically got to reset my printer all over and it worked so now i'm here doing this video so, um, she was very helpful and I really appreciate that. So let me go ahead and, um, I just tape this up. Okay. That's done. Tape it real tight. 
I got my um your paper. It's your um I'm I'm so lost with words right now. I'm so tired. I've been working on the computer. I was so frustrated. Get your paper right here. I got this from Sam's Butcher Paper. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> Get your butcher paper. And make sure you put it around your um cup. I'm gonna cut this real quick and just tape it on its side. Um, so it's beeping right now. So let me go ahead and get it in there. Let me go ahead and just tape this paper on here, just like so. And I know I'm moving kind of fast, but I pr I'm probably do another one since I'm moving fast, and I'm just trying to make sure it works because see, I just covered that image up. You don't have to cover up the whole. The whole cup. I just want to make sure the image is covered. But it's up to you. If you want to cover the whole cup, that's fine. But it won't burn. Okay. It's probably best to cover the whole cup. But I'm just rushing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just basically slide it in here like so. Like I said, it's broke. So it's going to be kind of awkward. Slide it in like so. Make sure that your image is touching the, where it needs to be touching. Make sure your handle is right in the middle of that. See? So I'm just going to have to hold it tight for 60 seconds. Make sure the whole cup is inside the um thing. And you basically just close this up like this. But I can't close it because it's broke. I'm going to hold this and I'll be right back. It's done. And it's hot. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And I know it's not done. So it didn't work. I'm about to give me a mug press, y'all. So this is not going to work. And this is my second cup I done messed up. So... Okay, y'all, I was not going to post this video because um, the cup did not turn out right because of my mug press. It's not my fault. It's the mug press, okay? It's broken. And basically, I did um, a poll in my group, Brown Girls Cry for Cricket, and I'm a woman of my word. And I want to make sure I got this video out because I told my subscribers that I, I mean, my my um viewers, my the people that's in my group, I told the people in my group that, that this is going to be... Uh, tutorial for this video to show them how to sublimate a mug okay um i showed you step by step how to do it even though this did not turn out right it wasn't my fault it was the mug press fault so i'm going to go ahead and still add this video to my youtube channel and i'm going to show you basically i showed you how to cut the image out how to measure it to the cup like i said this is another image that i that i print out you just make sure you cut around the image tape it on there tightly onto the cup with the um transfer tape the heat transfer tape and you put it in your mug press and if you don't have a mug press you can go ahead and use a um air fryer or a um conventional oven i'm going to go ahead and purchase me another mug press and i'm going to do it the right way okay but i'm going to show you the mugs that i already used when it was not when it before it broken okay before it broke i did some mugs i'm going to show you that it can be done. See, look at that. This is the mug. I've done this mug. And what I did, I just measured it. I make sure I measure the cup first. And then I put the paper on there. I tape it up the same steps I showed you how to do this mug. But the colors did not come out right because my, I had to hold it tight and it didn't it didn't work. But this mug press did do good work when it was not broken, okay? So this is a mug that I did. I did a lot of mugs, okay? But that's the only mug I have right now to show you. But um, I'm going to go ahead and still post this video because I still showed you step by step how to do it. From the Cricut to um, um, cutting it out to putting it on there. Three, it's basically 400 degrees. I'm going to use this one. <laughs> I don't want to keep on showing you this ugly one. It's basically 400 degrees for 60 seconds. And this is how I got this done, okay? Like I said, I measured the piece. Before, on my Cricut, three by three. This one was a little bit bigger. This one was probably about four, um, three and a half by four because it's a little wider, okay? So I'm going to show you this one because this one is done right <laughs> and it's pretty. 
I have so many mugs. I have a whole box full of mugs that I've done. Picture of myself on a mug. Okay, the, the lighting is not really good, so you really can't see it well. But this is a picture that I did with this, with this mug press also with myself on there, okay? So, it can be done. Like I said, I'm a woman, my words. So I want to make sure I got this video out. So, please don't bash me in my comments because of this mug. I'm going to stop showing it to you. But um, it would have turned out perfectly um, if I would have... my my um thing wasn't broke but i even tried to do more just to see if it's gonna work i tried to do this one too and i tried to hold it tight but see how the colors see this um, let me show you this is how it's gonna look if you do, do not put it on there long enough okay this is just like something made on a shirt if you don't have enough heat on there it will not work so um i was having the same issues with my heat um my cricket press my cricket easy presses um i would use sublimation try to sublimate it and this is what happens if you don't have enough heat in it on it if you have enough heat the colors would not come through, okay? But this was just because of the, the press was broken. It's broken, okay? My screw, uh, I just pay, I just purchased this not too long ago from Amazon. A brand new heat, a brand new mug press, and it's broke already. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of getting another one, but I thought this would work for the video because it did work before, but it's just not working for me now. So I'm just going to have to just purchase another one. And wait till it come in and i'll do another video the correct way but i just wanted to put this up there because everything was fine until i got to pressing it so i know y'all can do this you can follow the steps do it the, do it the correct way and still get the perfect result from your heat press if you have a, if you have a good mug press um there's also videos on youtube to show you how to use the oven or the air fryer but you have to you have to buy a silicone mug wrap you get that from Amazon. Make sure you have the right ounces. Make sure you know the ounces of your cup. This is 11 ounces. So make sure you buy, a, purchase a 11 ounce mug wrap, okay? To cover it up. Basically, the mug wrap, it looks up, it's like a wrap that you, this is a wrap right here, but it's thicker for the press, for the um, mug press. But the wrap, you just basically wrap it around your um cup and snap it, and then you put it in the oven or the air fryer, okay? So yeah, this is going to the garbage. I might have my handyman see if he can fix it for me. But just a screw issue. The screw is too small. It's not staying in there. So that's my heat press. I got it from Amazon. Do not purchase that because it only lasted to about 12 or 15 mugs. And I'm very upset. I paid like $80 for this thing. Just a waste of money. So that's what I have to get when I try to buy cheap stuff. <laughs> but still, it's crazy. So I'm just going to show you. This is a finished project of a mug that I've done before. And... Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm sorry that it didn't turn out right, but uh, like I said, I'm going to get this video out because I know my viewers are waiting for this. It was a poll on my group, and they 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 voted, and they just won the poll, so I'm going to get it out to them, and I will do another one. Um, I'm still debating on getting an um, air fryer because um, this really made me mad about this heat press, and these heat presses are not cheap. Just the next size up, it'll be like one almost $200 for a I'm gonna say heat press. I'm sorry. This mug press is about. This one was eighty dollars, but the next one up I found on Heat Press Nation was a hundred, almost two hundred dollars. So please let me know if you have a heat press that you really like. Um, please share the link with me. I appreciate that because I really like the because it's small, and I know the air fryer in the um oven is gonna be a little bit bulkier than this, and I don't have much space. Okay. So thanks for watching. Please follow me on Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. Also check out my website. I have so many mugs. If you check out my website, and see all the mugs that I've uh, that I've um, sublimated. I have so many of them on my website. www.charminggalboutique.com. Like I said, please don't bash me. <laughs> I know how people can get it. like, girl, this girl got on this video and showed us a messed up mug. No, it's 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 cute. It would have. I mean, see how the colors came out still. But if it would have heated all the way up down here at the bottom, it would have been banging. I'm gonna um give one out though. As soon as I get me a new heat press. And she's cute too. Like I said, I'm wasting my mugs. I pay a lot of money for these mugs, but I'm trying to get it to work for y'all. But this is pretty too. If it would have had the whole, you know, it would have came all the way through. It would have it would have been cute. But this one worked before. So check out my website to see the rest of them that I made, that I printed out. And until next time, be blessed. Thanks for watching.